Resting in a grove of trees on the northeast corner of Woodlawn Plantation is a house designed by architect Frank Lloyd Wright. Built in 1940 for the Pope family, it was rescued from demolition by its second owner, Marjorie Leahy. The Virginia Highway Department had been planning the interstate through Arlington County and Falls Church for a number of years. Finally, in the early part of 1963, the worst dreams came true that indeed the, the highway was was moving. The house sat from that barrier back behind there, where the highway, the highway is running through where the house sat. Frank Lloyd Wright was the greatest American architect of the 20th century. He was also eccentric, opinionated, and devoted to the cause and the glory of modern architecture. He was a man of great genius, great inventiveness, uh, introduced architectural theory, practiced architectural theory. This house is so different from anything that was being built uh, in the 20s or 30s or 40s. Uh, everything was masked uh, here. Uh, <clears throat> a brick, if there's a brick on the outside, it's brick on the inside. When, you, when you're in the building, you, you sense that somebody has been thinking about everything you look at, and it's all tied together and coherent and, and comprehensive. And for an architect uh, to walk inside it uh, is, is a real delight. It, uh, it's at one with uh, the leaves and the trees and the sky. It brings the outdoors in, takes the indoors out. Uh, and literally living in it was living in a work of art. He always brings you in so you want to duck. And then you go down five steps and the roof level goes up, uh, oh, two feet or two and a half feet, and it's a great a cathedral sense of uh, r relief and uh, release and, and space. It's theater, uh, and it's uh, one of the, the nice things that architecture can do uh, in life. The life within it uh, is affected by the structure. I think our buildings and our surroundings affect us very deeply. One of his strongly held tenets was that good architecture and good quality housing should be available to a broader uh, spectrum of the American public. And out of that came what we now today know as the Usonian house. Usonia means a certain type of architecture, free architecture. The box was a containment, whereas the new idea was to eliminate the box and let everything that was in go outward and associate with its environment. It unfetters one, I think. It has a great deal of uh, repose and dignity. It's unaffected. There's no, nothing cosmetic about it. Previously, it had a very compartmentalized living room, dining room, study. Wright uh, busted that wide open, and, and, and with his asymmetrical freedom, was able to do all kinds of things uh, to a site rather than just put a symmetrical lump on it. Today, historic sites are protected in the county by historic overlay districts and nationally by the Historic Preservation Act of 1966. It wouldn't have happened. They would have rerouted 66 to avoid a National Register house. One of the many reasons for saving the Pope Leahy House, one of the many advantages, is an educational one, that people can go and look at this and absorb some of the qualities that, that Wright built in built in a place of value, to value the people who were living in it and, and their ideas and their lives. The Pope Leahy House is open to the public from 9.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. seven days a week. For more information, call 780-4000.